Dentist, three most important things to know when performing ridge augmentation or bone grafting. Number one, your incision design. It has to incorporate not just the augmentation you're performing, but it has to have built-in capacity for the inflammation that ensues right after surgery. Number two, your flap mobility. The flap design is one thing, but flap mobility is a secondary issue because if your design is good, but you haven't built in capacity for the flap to be able to absorb the inflammation and it starts pulling on the incision line, you're going to get a bone graft exposure. Number three is your suturing design. The sutures have to be done in such a way that it actually helps when there's inflammation and creates an eversion to get better vascular to vascular bed contact during your healing. Hope you find this helpful. If you're interested in learning more, click on the link below. I put a little video together that goes over all these techniques, indications, and when to utilize which technique when performing bone grafting.